you are pursuing a dead man. Do you know when I died? July 29, 1995. Hello, wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers all over the world. Um, 30 days ago, Reverend Fadeji Kimbaka was suspended or withdrawn from his official duty in adoration ministry because of the statement regarding the failed government we have today in Nigeria. The 30 days has expired. Fadeji Kimbaka is back and back the way I never expected it. Now watch and be a witness. Amen. As him mature on the campus and open to them, open to the room. Open to the room. You can't do more. Man, she never got back over that or go. Barry Masendara Maya Kete Bushi. The country is not well. Makirima said that Ramaya came with she. Woe betide the prophet of God who will be silent in the time of evil. That person is not a prophet. No matter the threat, no matter the attack, a prophet is a prophet at all times. Arima Sekerima Shendi. I could remember that glorious day, 29 July 1995. Bishop Enneja was at Ituku, ordaining me a priest, a prophet, and a king. Even Bishop Enneja will not be happy wherever he is. Hearing that Fadambaka is now dumb in a troubled time like this. What we be, we be is a matter of time. Adoration ministry is a prophetic ministry. It is a Catholic ministry. Yeah. Was it not on Wednesday that I came back to my house after 30 days? Amen. I don't want to go into details. The bishop said we shall continue. Now, when I came back on Wednesday, I celebrated Mass with some of the leaders of the ministry. By Thursday morning, I got a call from where I was that the DSS people from Abuja came to the gates and they came with a letter of invitation to Abuja. Over what? Listen. What? I cannot understand is that the mother church in Nigeria should be cowed down to a level of Lilliputian. This is a broad Dinginagian entity. The mother church is both a lamb and a lion. The Bible says in Psalm 11 verse 3, foundation once destroyed. What will the just man do? All these are attempts to dumbfound the priests of God. All the priests could be dumbfounded, but no prophet should be dumbfounded. And in the Catholic liturgy and sacramental theology, every priest is not just a priest. Every priest is a priest, is a prophet and a king. 
So we could share in these three characters. And it is our duty to protect the sheep. In this time when killings are all over, blood shed everywhere, hunger everywhere, people do not have hope again. The only hope we have is in God. That is why I am asking whoever not to stop us from worshiping God here again because this is the only place we have hope in. We give our hope to God. We worship the living God in the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Anybody by any means who will stop people from worshiping here will regret it. We must discern when the devil is working and when God is working. We are busy winning souls. How can souls that are won be scattered? To so where? We are the church that is interested in salus animarum. Salvation of souls. I am the servant here. So let those who are inviting me to Abuja and elsewhere. Because they don't understand history. This is the same Father Mbaka who worked with Eneja and spoke about Abacha and Co. This is the same Father Mbaka who under Eneja went to Mina and told Babangida face to face what was wrong in his time. This is the same Father Mbaka who under Bishabuji went to Abasanjo in Asorok face to face and spoke to him. I perform under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I don't do anything to gain money. I do this to save souls and give God glory. <laughs> under Bishop Buji, I minister to Yaradua, the less Yaradua. I didn't start now to learn this. I am being used by a supernatural spirit called the Holy Spirit. I am a communicant. I am a recipient of the body and blood of Jesus. If the prophetic Jesus is in me, this Jesus that used to tell Herod, go and tell this fox. If he's the one in me, the prophet Jesus, and he wants to speak through me, who am I to resist him from using me? God forbid. Allah care, yeah. If all I am suffering now is to give God glory, no trouble. If what I'm suffering now is to save souls for the kingdom of God, no trouble. If what I'm suffering now is to save these children for the church, so that the vultures will not vulturize you people, no problem. If they are attacking me here and there, even from those who should save me, no wahala. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 31, if God is for us, who can be against us? Only God can be God. So they, they, I heard the security men did not receive the letter. I, oh, I said they could have received the letter. They told them, Father is coming back to celebrate Mass on Sunday and they can come on Monday to give me the letter. So inviting me here and there. If they know that the anointing flowing from this ground is too hot for them to handle, let them change. Look at the millions of youths moving about jobless. And you call us father. And the father should be comfortable when the children are suffering. What kind of father is that? I say, what kind of father is that? I am sure that the body, am, the body of Jesus is bleeding. The blood is coming out from him. That his children are suffering. Is this not Jesus who in Matthew chapter 14 verse 16 said, give them something to eat. We ministers of God. It's not that Father Mbaka cannot fly jet, but what am I doing with jet 
when my people have no jobs, when you have no food to eat, it doesn't mean that I cannot have whatever kind of millions I'm packing the bank, watching the money. It should be cost money. If I cannot use what God has given me to help you people. As I said, I'm a covenant child. Whatever God will give me that I will not use to serve the church, I have the promises. Let it not come to me. Therefore, people should take things easy and understand me. If you are the one sent to cow for them back down, it's a stupid assignment given to you because you cannot achieve it. And the Catholic Church is the prophetic church. So those who are dreaming that Mbaka will soon be quiet, you are wasting your time. I stand to represent God for you. I represent you for God. I may go between. Do you know how many people have died under one month? In a country like this, how many blood has been shed? I'm not partisan. I'm not tribalistic. I'm representing humanity. They cannot misquote me and ask me to keep quiet. No blood is worth being shed. In a time like this. And what betide you? If you are the one sent on such satanic assignment, rubbish. You are pursuing a dead man. Do you know when I died? July 29, 1995. You all had it. This is the kind of man I am in love with. This is the kind of man I am endeared with his music and his message before that 2015 election. This is a clear indication that God called Father Mbaka for a purpose and he is carrying out his ministry. Whether in the Catholic Church or outside Catholic Church or any ministry whatsoever, the man is ordained to speak the truth without fear. And that is my kind of person. You see, the problem we have is being correct, bureaucratically correct, red tapism. And every day, Pugi, why things are going wrong, including the church, that is the biggest disappointment. They are trying to shut his mouth down, and it is a big disappointment. They are using a revered institution of the Catholic Church, not just the Catholic Church, but the rest of church institutions in Nigeria, beginning with Khan, because they condone this wicked people parading themselves as political leaders in Nigeria. I'm talking from the Christian perspective because that is where my people are coming from. But the same is applicable in almost all the religious platform, whether Christianity or Muslim. In the face of tyranny, in the face of oppression, in the face of impunity, if you say you are a religious leader and you keep quiet, you are part of the criminality. And when the judgment starts, it will start from your household. This is a clear message 
a clear indication that Father Mbaka was called for this purpose. And we the people, I, on behalf of the people, as the voice of the people, the voice of God, and the voice of our ancestors that had lived before us and had gone beyond this life. We stand behind you. Wherever you go, as long as you stand on the truth, we the people stand behind you. And nothing any man born of a woman can do to you. Truth is sacrosanct. Truth does not know where you come from. Truth does not regard your religious background. Truth is not interested in your educational qualification and your status in the society. Truth is truth. And where truth is, is where we stand. Keep speaking it. They can't shut you down. And the people must rise up to defend those who stand in the gap in the days of trouble. And that is the message. Share it. Let everyone be part of it. We will be following up. If you like, invite back Father Mbaka to the Supreme Headquarters of DSS and the Army Headquarters. Bring all of them together. You cannot intimidate the truth. The truth is truth. Day and night. Thank you, Father Mbaka. You're welcome back. And we are following up. I'm signing out. Subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion on this. Stay safe. Bye-bye.